So we're gonna create groups from our admin panel. And so inside our admin panel, we're gonna go ahead and head along to, to groups. It's under directory. And you can see here that I've got all of my different groups defined. I'm gonna click on to create group. And if you'd like to follow along, you're very welcome to. And we're gonna give the group a name. So I'm just gonna call mine test. And then, well, we've gotta create the exec group first, don't we? All right, so it's test dash exec. Now you're gonna give this group an email address, which if you didn't know, you can actually use this to email everyone in that group if you wanted to. We strongly discourage using emails internally inside a business. Our recommendation is that you use chat and an effective task management system to keep your internal communications away from your inbox because if your team are trained to always be looking inside their inbox for internal messages, they're gonna be caught up in there all day long and distracted by messages from people outside your company. So these do work as a group email if you wanna email everyone in that group, but my recommendation is that you don't, you don't bother using that. So you'll have a group owner, so that will be the person kind of like a responsible for administering the group. That's probably just gonna be you. So I put myself in there, pretty straightforward. And you can see here that, you know, you can choose whether it's just a mailing group or also a security group. We definitely want to make sure this is a security group. All right, so we're gonna hit next, wonderful. So you can see here, we've got different kinds of groups. So you've got, team, announcement only, restricted and custom. Now I will typically just use the restricted group. You can see here that what that does is it changes the permissions down below. So see those tick boxes are changing. So when I choose it to restricted, it's gonna change the options. However, that default restricted group will actually still allow external people, see how it says here, who can contact group owners? That means that they can email that email address. And so if you create a group and you call it sales at yourcompany.com and you leave this box ticked for external users being able to contact group owners, Anyone can email sales at your company.com and email will show up in everybody's mailbox because effectively you've created a distribution group. So a distribution group will go to everyone. So this is effectively how you set up a distribution group. So if you wanna create a distribution group, this is how you do it. You set up a group, you, sit, you can choose restricted, but then you leave that tick. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna untick that because I don't actually want people outside my company to contact this group. I just wanna use this for security. And you can see there that Google's automatically moved that from a restricted group to a custom group, that's fine. And you know you may even choose to untick this one. So you know no, no one, no one can email the group. You know, if you want to lock it down and stop people from emailing the group. Next setting, who can join this group? Anyone in the organization can ask. You know, you, you may choose that if you want, but if you want to keep things simple and locked down so that group access is only managed by your HR or your empowered, we call our HR team, our empowered team, then I, you know, I would choose just only invited users. So only people that admins put in this group are able to participate in this group. Do you want to allow people outside your organization? For most groups, that's going to be no, but we would choose to switch that on for one of our groups that I suggested. Group number four, we'll come back to that one. Cool, so we're gonna create this group and then it's gonna let us add some users. Okay, cool, so let's add some users to test exec, all right, add members. And Red, I'm gonna anoint you an executive of our test group, congratulations. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius. Or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.